Welcome. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. <laughs> Off to a good start. <laughs> Always. Hello. We're thrilled to welcome you all to the presentation of the awards at the YAGP 2022 semifinal in Denver. I am Sergey Gordeyev. And I'm Catherine Morgan, and it's our great pleasure to be your hosts for this evening. And may we just say what a pleasure it is to do this live, because it was awesome to do this virtually last year, but nothing can replace the thrill of live theater. So let's give a round of applause to live Absolutely. dancing. I mean, being on the couch with the dog was cute, but this is nothing to beat this. At this time, we would like to recognize all the students who have participated in this year's Denver semifinal. So audience, as we call these names and schools out, keep the applause rolling. This is also... Um, uh, Please take out your phones as well if you'd like to capture your student or your child's bow. I was gonna say, this is the one time when photography is an yes. allowed and encouraged. So yes, pull out Do your it. phone. Okay. And at this point, without further ado, let's applaud our dancers. First, independent dancers. Madeline Keller, Colorado. Independent Anastasia Garina, California. Poppy Martinez Cox, Colorado. And Isabella Smith, Nevada. Nebraska, Nevada. I don't know my, I should know this. N.E., what is N.E.? <laughs> Dancers, now when you take a bow, uh, you let your parents take your photograph and then you proceed into the audience to take your seats so you can clear the stage for the other dancers to do the same. Got that choreography? Awesome. All right, so independent dancers, thank you. Please you may go take, take your seats. Your seats. Classical Ballet Academy, Colorado. Chicago City Classical Ballet, Illinois. Now wait, dancers, that, that won't do. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Dancers, hello, woohoo. Hi, come back, come back. Uh, come here, stand here, stand here. Be in a line. Have you ever taken a bow on stage? Can we remember that one time when you actually did it together? Okay, I'll give you a tip, I'll give you a tip. Um, the person on the right is the one basically leading the bow, right? So everybody look to your right, and you raise your hand and go like, bow, and then everybody bows together. So we'll, we'll, we'll rehearse this. Okay, um, what's the school name? Chicago City Classical Ballet from Illinois. There we go. Thank you. That was much better. Master Ballet Academy, Arizona. Now that's what we're talking about. International Ballet School, Colorado. Studio 9 Dance Academy, Colorado. They're, they're coordinated. <laughs> okay. And welcome to the forefront of the stage, Littleton Ballet Academy from Colorado. Oh my goodness. All right, guys, so now the there, there are two, there are two, um, wait, 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 wait. So uh, let's make two lines. If there's too many of you to make one line, so let me see this line right here. Let me see this line right here, a separate line. You guys, a line, right? We heard a, of a line, right? So now the first line goes. Thank you. And now you clear the stage. So clear the stage very nicely, orderly, so that your colleagues can also be seen and photographed. Now you guys step forward and take your well-deserved bow. I also want to commend them for walking down the stairs in heels. 
That's probably the hardest thing they've done all weekend. <laughs> right? Totally. Totally. You know, and, and also, just as they're walking their heels down the stairs, just note, you know, the shoes. The shoes at YAGP. It's a fashion. It's totally a fashion show. We, we seriously considered, like, an offshoot of YAGP, like, the shoe competition. We almost had it as a separate category after the awards ceremony, but then we figured everybody wants to go home. It's late. Let's just skip that. So. Colorado Ballet, Colorado. Well done. Excellent. Classic Dance Academy, Colorado. Colorado. Dance Arts Los Alamos, New Mexico. Apparently only princesses are allowed to study at Dance Arts Los Alamos, New Mexico. Dance Conservatory of Denver, Colorado. Evergreen School of Ballet, Colorado. HW School of Ballet, Canada. Hollingsworth School of Dance and Gymnastics in Iowa. I Ballet Studio, Michigan. Jacqueline's School of Ballet in Utah. Nashville Classical Ballet Academy in Tennessee. Okay. Ballet Academy North, Texas. The Dallas Conservatory from Texas. Alliance Academy of Dance in Idaho. Rocky Mountain Ballet Academy, Colorado.
Theater Arts, Oklahoma. Nashville Classical Ballet Academy, Tennessee, take two. Utah Dance Institute from Utah. Boulder Ballet, Colorado. Canyon Concert Ballet, Colorado. Aspen Santa Fe Ballet School from Colorado. Barlow Arts Conservatory, Utah. New Mexico Ballet Company School from New Mexico. An independent participant, Sophia Angelo from California. Nolte Ballet. Theater Arts, Oklahoma. Norman School of Ballet, Oklahoma. Studio Roxander Academy of Ballet, Oregon. Southland Ballet Academy. Roots Studios, Colorado. Well, that took a moment, but you know, you try to organize 300 gorgeous dancers to walk across the stage. So let's just give all of this a round of applause. Absolutely. And now we would like to ask all of our participants to stand up, turn around, and give a standing ovation to your parents, teachers, and schools who have supported you and made it possible for you to be here. And don't forget to wave at the virtual audience because everybody is watching us around the world. So your mom, your dad, your teacher, whoever didn't make it here, they see you now on the live stream. And at this time, we would like to take a moment to acknowledge and introduce our judges for this year's Denver semifinal. And most of them actually are not here. They had to catch flights. So just applaud for them 
on the live stream. You know, well, right, because you know what? <laughs> they may not be here, but they will be watching the live stream and they will be seeing who's clapping and who's not. So I would be careful if I were you. <laughs> Natalia Bashkatova, former principal dancer, Bolshoi Ballet and Cirque du Soleil. Glenn Edgerton, ballet faculty at the University of Oklahoma, former artistic director, Hubbard Street Dance, Chicago. Associate Artistic Director, Nashville Ballet, Nick Mulliken. Ballet Master, Houston Ballet 2 and Houston Ballet Academy, Claudia Munoz. You may know this judge, I don't know, you may have seen her somewhere, former soloist, New York City Ballet and Miami City Ballet. She's also a guest artist and master teacher, Catherine Morgan. And uh, the one judge who is here, master teacher and resident choreographer, Next Generation Ballet at the Patel Conservatory, Maria Conrad. Work it, Maria. Make it happen for all of the jury. <laughs> yes, she's representing the entire jury panel. And of course, a person who doesn't need introduction, Larissa Savelyev, the founder and artistic director of Youth America Grand Prix. We would like to say a very special thank you to our sponsors. They help Youth America Grand Prix bring all these educational and performance opportunities. Without them, it would be much harder. So let's acknowledge all of our uh, um, sponsors. They are Ballet Rosa, Beyond Tutus, Block, Dance Europe Magazine, Discount Dance, Flexi Stretcher, Harlequin, Nikolai, Russian Point, Sodanza, Sylvia, Vertice, and Dance Media, publishers of Dance Magazine, Dance Spirit, Dance Teacher, and Point Magazine. Let's please give them a round of applause. And there's one more group of people we would love to acknowledge and to have you thank. Please join me in thanking the people who without none of this would be happening and who create all the magic behind the scenes, the YAGP staff. So this season marks YAGP's 23rd year of helping young dancers across the globe achieve their dreams. Although the world right now around us is a bit different, what has remained absolutely the same is our commitment of delivering education and performance opportunities to talented young dancers worldwide. And there is one more thing you may have noticed this year. This year we have more scholarships than ever presented actually on the spot. And the reason for that is that COVID gave us internet, well, in a way that's new. And so now every single Youth America Grand Prix event and semifinal is live streamed around the world and scholarship presenters are able to tune in from wherever they are. They don't have to be physically present and lots of scholarships get offered through scholarship presenters seeing the dancers via the live stream. So can I just invite a round of applause for the gifts of technology? Absolutely. <laughs> now, before we begin the awards, just a quick reminder. If any student has already placed in the top 12, top 6, or top 3 at another regional semifinal this season, that student will not be eligible to receive placement again unless it is higher than the placement in the previous competition. So if some of your favorite dancers have not placed here tonight, it might be because they have already placed elsewhere. And now, without further ado, let us announce the awards. We will begin with a pre-competitive age division for dancers ages 9 to 11 years old. We will now call on to the stage the pre-competitive dancers ages 9 to 11 with the top 12 highest scores in the contemporary dance category, women and men combined. When your name is called, please come up on to the stage. The top 12 contemporary dance finalists are, and if you could please hold your round of applause until the end just so they can hear their names, that's why we ask you to hold the round of applause. Adali Steffens. Ava Dunaway. Avery Schwitz. Charlotte Dennis. Daphne Gomez. Ellery Day Zindlar. Emily Benjamin. Emma Boggs. Eva Rumas Ugalia. Harley Marshall. London Long. Sage Solentic. Let's now please. You may applaud. 
acknowledge them with your thunderous, thunderous applause that you have been saving. And now we would like to ask these dancers' colleagues in the pre-competitive age division, classical ballet category. The top 12 finalists in the classical ballet category are... When your name is called, please come onto the stage or step forward if you're already here. Addison Skufka. Anna Maria Krakowiak. Ava Dunaway. Aviva Brock. Beatrice Yang. Ellery Day Zindlar. Emma Nagawa. Emma Boggs. Lydia Woodward. Olivia Weimerskirch. Sage Sulentic. And Sloan Ma. <laughs> and the winners in the pre-competitive age division contemporary dance category are. When your name is called, please step to the front. We have a tie for third place. Yes, so the tie for the third place goes to Ava Rumasuglia and Emma Boggs. The second place goes to Eva Rumasuglia and Emma Boggs. Where are Paige? She's not here. She's not here. Okay. Well, she'll find out via live stream, <laughs> yes. which we're so grateful for. The second place goes to Sage Solentic. And first place in the contemporary category goes to Adali Stevens. You know, if there ever was, if there ever was a reason to, to watch YAGP live stream of the awards is to find out if you won, you know, third place or something. So in the pre-competitive age, so watch the live stream. In the pre-competitive age division classical ballet category, the winners are third place, Anna Maria Krakowiak. Second place, Lydia Woodward. The first place goes to Sloan Ma. We have one more award in the pre-competitive age division. It goes to a dancer who has excelled both in classical ballet and contemporary dance category. And this award, called the Hope Award, deserves um, a drum roll, doesn't it? I think so. The Hope Award goes to Ellery Day Sindlar. Now, Ellery, that's wonderful. You know, um, Ellery, you may not know this, but I'm actually an Emmy Award winning journalist, and I just wanted to get your interview before everybody else does, because you will be famous. So what, at Sergey.nyc, that's my Instagram, uh, what, what inspires you when you dance? Um, well, I feel like I was born to dance, and... Um, I think that's enough. You were born to dance. Absolutely. <laughs> that's the shortest interview I've ever done, but the most meaningful. And this she's, is, got, she's got the sparkly shoes on. So and you, know. you would have won this shoe competition if we had it. So, there you go. wow. 
beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a round of applause to all of our... And I, I really just want to say, and I say this every time, especially at your age, all of you in the pre-competitive category, what you're able to do, come up here, do your thing at 9 to 11. I mean, it's amazing. It really is. Bravo, you guys. Really good. Bravo. <laughs> Thank you, dancers. You may now join your colleagues in the auditorium. And at this time, we would like to acknowledge, we will proceed to the ensemble category. And we have two groups in the ensemble category, the small ensembles and large ensembles. And at this time, we would like to acknowledge the top six finalists in each of these categories. When we uh, say the name of your ensemble, dancers, if you could please stand up in your seats so we can see you and acknowledge you with our thunderous applause. So we're going to start with these small ensembles. The top six small ensembles are Alliance Academy of Dance, I Found. Ballet Academy North, Distant Grace. Chicago City Classical Ballet, Reticence. International Ballet School, Coppelia, Pas de Deux. Littleton Ballet Academy, Obad. <laughs> and Nolte Academy, Black Ships. Thank you, dancers. You may take your seats now. And the top six large ensembles are... Ballet Academy North, De Nuevo. <laughs> Chicago City Classical Ballet for Broken. Colorado Ballet Academy, Carmen Suite. And like... Half the audience stands up. Yeah. <laughs> Littleton Ballet Academy, Barnacle Bill. Rocky Mountain Ballet Academy, Go Pack. And Studio Nine Dance Academy for The Throne. Thank you, dancers. You may take your seats. And now we will call onto the stage one or two representatives of the winning ensembles. So when you hear the name of your ensemble, decide who goes up. For third place, for small ensembles, we have Nolte Academy Black Ships. The second place in the small ensemble category goes to Littleton Ballet Academy, Obad. And our first place winner in the small ensembles category goes to International Ballet School, Capella Potida. Now, I hope the large ensembles had the time to decide who goes up on stage. The third place in the large ensemble category goes to Chicago City Classical Ballet, Broken. In second place, we have Rocky Mountain Ballet Academy, Gopak.
And the first place in the large ensemble category goes to Colorado Ballet Academy, Carmen Sweet. Let's, let's give a huge round of applause to our ensemble dancers dancer. and parents. Feel free to take as many photos and videos as you would like. Tag at YAGP and be proud of your dancers. Thank you, dancers. You may join your colleagues in the auditorium. So we will now announce the awards in the junior age division for dancers ages 12 to 14 years old. We will first announce the top 24 performers in the junior age division classical ballet category, men and women combined. And when you hear your name called, just like the ensembles did, please stand up in your seat so we can acknowledge who you are and remain standing until we finish calling all the 24 dancers so we can all see where you are and who you are. And once again, if you could please hold your applause so they can hear their name. Adair Bruff. Anna Corey. Annalise Palmieri. Carolina Anderson. Carson Henry. Catherine Kramer. Ellie Maddox. Emma Corey. You know, I struggled with this name, but I've now actually asked how this name is pronounced, and I can say it um, beautifully. Ank Undrak Tertakto. Thank you, that was an applause. Yeah, that was applause for me, I, I struggled, I really did. <laughs> no, you did really well. Gabe Johnson. Grant McIntosh. Hollis Serson. Katie Whitehead. Lauren Carr. Lexi Messick. London Hausman. Luna May Powell. Mikkel Haney. Miranda Metz. Olivia Key. Owen Osterbrock. Sage Wallach. Shiley Sagel. And Vivian Shields. Now, let's please acknowledge the dancers. And by the way, dancers, you know, we sometimes make um, a light of some of the names that are, you know, not so easy to pronounce. You should have seen me in Japan. It was really something. But I just want to say immigration and different nationalities and different last names from different countries and from different heritage, that's what makes this country beautiful. And just because I'm on stage and you get, you know, to do what I tell you to do, can we please give a round of applause to how multicultural United States is? Yes. So we will now call, yes, please sit. You don't have to stand for hours. Okay, we will now call onto the stage the dancers with the top 12 highest scores in the junior age division contemporary dance category, women and men combined. When your name is called, please come up onto the stage. The top 12 contemporary dance finalists are Audra Hansen, Carson Henry, you, you, Ank Undrak Turk Takto. I'm just gonna leave that one to you. Gabe Johnson. Grant McIntosh. Katie Whitehead. Luna May Powell. Megan Swoboda. Shiley Sagel. Sophia Angelov. Sunny Lee. Vivian Shields. Let's please give them a round of applause. I'd rather, you, I'd rather you do it and me get it, you get it right. <laughs> and the top 12 classical ballet finalists are... When you hear your name, please come up, or if you're already here, step forward. Annalise Palmieri. Carolina Anderson. Carson Henry. Emma Corey. Grant McIntosh. Le Lexi Messick. London Hausman. Luna May Powell. Mikkel Haney. Owen Osterbrock. Shiley Sagel. Vivian Shields. Let's please give them a round of applause. Okay, in the junior age division contemporary dance category, women and men combined, the winners are, when you hear your name, please step forward. In third place, we had Sophia Angelov.
second place in the Junior H Division Contemporary Dance category goes to Megan Swoboda. And in first place, we have Shiley Sagal. In the Junior Age Division Classical Ballet category, the winners are third place, a tie between Annalise Palmieri yeah. and Carson Henry. The second place goes to Grant McIntosh. And in first place, we have Shiley Sagal. And the last award in the junior age division goes to a dancer who excelled in both contemporary dance and classical ballet category. And this dancer is... Vivian Shields. Now, Vivian, Vivian, um, turn around. Let's take a selfie with all your adoring fans right here and right now. Here we go. <laughs> Thank you, guys. You're, you're in our selfie. Uh, now, tell this audience, because obviously they'll be seeing more of you because you'll be um, doing so well. Uh, what is your number one advice for your fellow dancers um, that you think will inspire them? Um, just be true to your passion and make sure that you love it. You know, if these mics weren't so expensive, I would drop them, but, but we can't, we can't. Thank you. Uh, let's please acknowledge all of our dancers in the junior age division. And uh, please join your colleagues in the auditorium. My other favorite thing I just have to say about it is that they're all like perfectly in fit in heels. I feel like I need to follow suit, but that's really, <laughs> that's bravo, you guys. That's hard to do. <laughs> you know what? Getting a solo, you know, a, 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 a major dancer from New York City Ballet and Miami City Ballet to compliment your fifths, I'm just saying, you guys, I hope your parents, I hope you're getting this on tape. Well, fifth was not my strength, so yeah. Okay. <clears throat> and now for the awards in the senior age division for dancers 15 to 20 years old. We have continued to include the 20 year old dancers in this age division as 19 year old dancers had limited audition opportunities last season. At this point, we will announce the top 24 finalists in the senior age division classical ballet category among women. And when your name is called, please stand up and um, receive the applause at the end of the list of the 24 dancers. Andalyn Jepson. Aria Staker. Brooke Janney. Carolyn Sowers. DeVry Roberts. Elizabeth Wade. Ella Sophia Bruff. Emma McMahon. Grace Friedley. Hannah Vernon. Philippe Heitman. Jessica Zavala. Jordan Henry. Catherine Caprillian. Kira Nichols. Lily Lieber. Mia Hanflig. Maya Davis. Natalie Tatar. Nissa Wood. Ruby Burkhoff. Ryan Smallwood. Sarah, Sarah Van Bremen. And Sellers Farley. We will now call onto the stage the dancers with the top 12 highest scores in the Senior Age Division Contemporary Dance category, Women. When your name is called, please come up. The top 12 Contemporary Dance finalists are Addison Taylor, Ashley Baker, Caroline Sowers, Ella Sophia Bruff, Hannah Vernon, Isabella Jaffe Stafford, Jessica Zavala, Kiara Nichols, Maya Davis, Nissa Wood, Sarah Van Bremen, 
Tatiana Schmidt. Let's give them a round of applause. The top 12 finalists in the classical ballet category are, and if you hear your name, please come up on stage. If you're already here, please enjoy it. Andaline Jeffson. Aria Staker. Caroline Sowers. Elizabeth Wade. Ella Sophia Bruff. Grace Friedley. Hannah Vernon. Catherine Capri Caprilian. Apologies. <laughs> Kiara Nichols. Natalie Tatar. Ryan Smallwood and Sarah Van Bremen. Let's please give them a round of applause. In the senior age division contemporary dance category, women, the winners are, your name is called, please step forward. Third place, we have a tie between Addison Taylor and Hannah Vernon. I just love how supportive you, you are. You know, you guys, actually, this is a small community. We're the world's largest dance family. And what do family do? They support each other. So let's give a round of applause for all the people who give a round of applause. <laughs> support each other. That's beautiful. The second place in the senior age division contemporary dance category among women goes to Sarah Van Bremen. And in first place, we have Kiara Nichols. In the senior age division, contemporary dance category, among the men, the winners are, and obviously, if you hear your name called, please make your way up onto the stage. Third place, Caden Johns. In second place, Axel Rickard. And the first place goes to Carson Willey. In the senior age division classical ballet category, women, the winners are, when you hear your name, you know the drill. Third place, we have a tie again between Caroline Sowers and Kiara Nichols. The second place goes to Ella Sophia Bruff. And in first place, we have Hannah Vernon. In the senior age division classical ballet category, among the men, the winners are third place, Ryder Rickard. In second place, Carson Willey. And the first place goes to Axel Rickard. Do it, do it. You know, honestly, like, okay, this is rare. You guys are brothers, so step forward. Um, 
so just, I'm curious, you know, how does it work when two brothers dance? Uh, we've always been dancing since we were four years old, so I think it's always been our thing, and we love doing it. Do you guys ever compete with each other? No, actually. Like, I mean, sure, there's like the occasional tussle, but um, it's more just like... On the stage of Youth America Grand Prix? <laughs> Usually, it's more just like pushing each other to be better. It's really like a collaborative effort. Uh, effort. Now... Lots of dancers actually have more than one, lots of families rather, have more than one dancer in the family. What is your advice to those families? How, 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 do, how would you um, advise them to, to make it a better experience um, than it already is? I think it's, you always want to support each other because that's the biggest thing. You know, you can always have insecurities by yourself, but as you're working together, it's so much stronger and you're so much stronger as a pair or as a your family. That's beautiful, you guys. Let's um, take that wisdom in from our dancing brothers. Let's give a huge round of applause to these dancers. They will be our future. We'll see more of them. Thank you, dancers. And let's support them with our applause. You may. Yeah, bravo, you guys. Please. Please bravo. join your colleagues in the auditorium. And now, we would like to announce a very special group of award because, you know, uh, without, without dance parents, um, or in other words, without teachers, well, these dancers wouldn't be here. Without choreographers, they would not have quite expressive language with which to communicate with their audiences. And without schools, there would be no physical place where that could take place. So these next awards are very special. Yes, and we have two Outstanding Teacher Awards. The first goes to Mark Carlson and Sandra Carlson of the International Ballet School. And also winning the Outstanding Teacher Award here in Denver, is Sergio Brindusa and Beth Moore, Alliance Academy of Dance. We also have an Outstanding Choreographer Award, and that goes to Roderick George of Ballet Academy North. Now, Roderick is not here because, you know, but Roderick is watching the live stream. So Roderick, just know how proud we are of you because many, many years ago, Roderick participated in Youth America Grand Prix. He is a Youth America Grand Prix alum. So this is so beautiful to see when alumni go on to, to perform themselves, to have a full career, but also to create dancers for other dancers and then to teach dancers. So let's give a round of applause to the 450 Youth America Grand Prix alumni who are now dancing in 80 companies around the world, and to Roderick George, who is a YGP alum. And for our last award, we have the Outstanding School, and we also have two of these. One is for the Rocky Mountain Ballet Academy. and the Colorado Ballet Academy. You know, while they're making their way up, I, I just have to, Mark, I think you were participating in Youth America Grand Prix since like the beginning. So, so that's 22 years out of 23. Uh, oh, right, there, it was a video audition the first year. So. Uh, as someone who's actually participated in Youth America Grand Prix, well, for as long as it's alive, what does it feel like for you to continue to inspire these young dancers through your future? Well, of course, that's our joy. Yeah. <laughs> Brief, but awesome. I just feel like we're the luckiest people in the world to do what we love, to share what we love and to have such a beautiful dance family and um, their family for life and we're pretty lucky.
It's a good life. And what do you think uh, makes, uh, what do you think makes the most difference when you teach a dancer? I don't know. I think that it's in you, you know, you either have it or you don't. And if you want to help somebody else do the things that are great, then you give them everything. So that's a big difference, significant for me. Well, in short, you just give all of who you are. You give everything. And for you, now, as outstanding school, what do you think is the most important thing that schools and teachers should pay attention to as they raise this next generation of dancers? Good question, but first I have to say that I can't accept this award alone. This is because of my staff, my students, my parents. It's, it's just, it's a village. It takes a village to become a good school. And now I don't remember your question. You've just answered it. <laughs> you, because, well, because my question was, what is important in raising the next generation of dancers? And you answered it. To, to understand that it's a community and to raise them to be a part of community that makes this world a better place, which is very important. Now, you are accepting the Outstanding Choreographer Award on behalf of Roderick George. What do you want to say to Roderick right now? Um, I want to say thank you so much. It was really fun learning his choreography because you have a really amazing imag imagination <laughs> and it comes together really well, so thank you. It does, thank you. And. Hi. You know, um, I think inspiration is important, mm -hmm. period, in life and in dance especially. What inspires you? I mean, the easy answer is the kids that come to the studio every day and put in the hard work and invest and believe in us and have faith in us as teachers. And I think that when you live, eat, breathe, do everything for your craft and your passion and your love, it's easy to build a family and a foundation, and that inspiration just grows when you see the kids grow from the first YAGP to the seniors leaving. Yeah. Yes. And, you know, I think it's important to just to remember to be grateful, to be grateful. So what is, who would you like to thank now? Uh, first of all, I would like to thank the Youth American Grand Prix for being here and live, not the Zoom. And the second of all, I would like to thank the, our students who believe and trust teachers. And uh, of course, to the parents who is doing the, all the hardest work, bringing the kids to the studio. And I would like to thank the older faculty who is working professionally to make these diamonds to shine. Beautiful, beautiful. And You know, um, this is just a moment to share something. Don't think of it as, as that you have to speak. You know, actually, if you could impart something in all your students, like take it and like, I don't know, put it in their brains, what would it be? Oh, well, it's, you know, it's actually hard to tell. Like, sometimes I'm just feeling, if I would be your age kids with my brain and my experience, this will be the perfect, you know, opportunity for everyone. So, but we're trying to put this in their brain, what we have. So, hopefully, yes, works. So, take advantage of the wisdom they have that they wish they did have when they were your age. So, make good use of it. Thank you. See, that was beautiful. <laughs> this, actually, thank you. You may join your students in the auditorium. And actually, this concludes our award ceremony here in Denver. But before we go, Catherine has something very important she would like to share with you. Before we go, remember, dancers, that regardless of your placement in this competition, the only, com the only competition that matters is the one with yourself. Remember, you have the opportunity, and you just did this weekend, to be seen by the Associate Artistic Director of National Ballet, Claudio, do you know what I mean? All these, these people, that's what this is about. The opportunity to be up here, the opportunity to keep improving the journey, all of that. So if you keep doing that, you keep pushing yourself, you're gonna be a winner no matter what. That's right. Thank you, dancers, and good night. Thanks.
ಹೇಳ್ತೇವೆ